Hi, my name is Pam and I like to make nerdy things. Today I'm going to show you how I made this adorable Among Us notebook so you can too. This is a no-sew bookbinding project so buckle up and let's get into it. I started by printing off some cute Among Us characters in a variety of sizes. When I finally chose the size I wanted, I used a glue stick to glue the printout to a cereal box. This is going to be the template for my notebook. I cut around the image very carefully with a craft knife. Ta-da! A template! I used 24 pound paper to make the text block. I took about 5 sheets of paper at a time. Any more than 5 became exponentially more difficult to cut out. I clamped my template to the sheets to hold everything in place. Then I used the craft knife to cut around the template. I learned later on that this is infinitely easier when you use scissors or a combination of the two cutting tools. Once you have enough paper cut that your hand hurts and you can't possibly cut anymore, clamp the text block together and sand the edges to fix your sloppy cutting job. This is no judgment on you, it's only judgment on me. Once satisfied with the overall shape and semi-crispness of the edges, it's time to glue the spine of the text block. This is called a perfect binding. I clamped the text block between a couple of boards and liberally applied Mod Podge to the edge of the oxygen tank side of the crewmate. Then leave that sucker to dry. While the spine is drying, I used cardstock to cut out a front and back cover piece for the book the same way I cut all of the other sheets, with a sharp pair of scissors and a lot of patience. I then cut a small rectangle no wider than the glued area of the spine and with the cardstock clamped to the front and back of the text block, glued the rectangle around the spine to attach the cardstock to the text block. We are going to use the cardstock as a base for the finished cover. As that dried, I cut out another piece of cereal box to act as the back cover for the notebook. I ended up cutting this twice so the unprinted side of the box was facing out. Don't be like me, just make sure you have your template facing the correct way so that you don't have this issue. And then didn't actually need this step because I cover it with a foam back anyway. But you don't have to do that and you could just use the cereal box as the back cover or some chipboard. I glued this piece on to the cardstock and let it dry under a board and weight to keep it flat. For the cover, I used 2mm craft foam. I traced the edge of my template with a pencil, then cut out that piece with my trusty craft knife. For the face mask, I wish I had printed off two templates as I destroyed mine by cutting out the mask to use as another template. I then traced around it on white 2mm foam and cut it out the same way. I lightly sanded the edges to clean up any rough spots. Before painting, I applied a liberal coating of Mod Podge to the foam pieces as a primer. If you don't apply a primer, the foam will soak up all the paint and it will take a lot of coats to get a decent coverage, so you'll want to do this step. I sped up my drying time with a heat gun. It's painting time! I used white for the mask and dark purple for the body. I applied a couple of coats and while painting the body realized I couldn't actually see the purple I chose on the black foam, so I cut out another body in white foam. I primed it with Mod Podge and painted the white foam body purple. and I used the heat gun in between coats. And as I applied the second coat, determined I should have just used a brighter shade of purple. I glued on the face mask with some more Mod Podge, and then decided I wanted to add some shading to it. Words of wisdom for you, do this before you glue it to the body. I mixed up some gray and painted the bottom portion of the mask. 
and then mixed up some light blue and then painted that above the gray, leaving a small area white. And then blended the colors together a little bit more. I decided I didn't want to waste that black piece of foam I had cut out and painted, so I painted the reverse side and glued it on as a back cover to my notebook. When applying glue, make sure you place some wax paper between the cover and the rest of the text block to protect the pages from getting glued together. I then glued on the front cover in the same manner, placing wax paper under the cover page to protect the text block. The last step is just to sandwich the book between a couple of boards, drop a weight on top, and let it dry for about a day. And there you have it, a cute Among Us notebook to write all of your suspicious thoughts in. Thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe for more nerdy crafts like this one. Until next time, bye!